Energizer is introducing the first high-performance battery made with recycled batteries. How does this help the environment and change the geological landscape? Energizer CMO Michelle Atkinson joins us now for a debut on the news hub. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, the, these are the these are the batteries we've got here. The Energizer. We all know the Energizer brand. We it's it's out there. Uh, what um, what have you done here? Um, the, the inspiration for this innovation came seven years ago, so we've been working on this for seven years. And if you can envision, we were standing at a battery recycling plant. And we were standing amid heaps of black mass, and it's basically batteries that have been processed. At that point in time, there was very little use for that or economic value. So basically at that point, that material is being given away free or used in roadbeds. And it was the commonly held belief that at that time that material could not be used in, in a battery, so we couldn't close the loop. And, 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 and we and stood it, there that day and said, we can do something better. And, and it's actually not, not good to throw batteries away. That's why they end up in sort of the, uh, the aggregates in the roads sometimes, uh, because these are actually pretty rotten stuff in, not these, but in general batteries that we've all thrown away. For actually, years. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, because over 25 years ago, an innovation that we brought, we actually removed all the heavy metals. But it's still a commonly held belief that they contain heavy metals like mercury, and they don't. So today, according to the EPA, it's okay to That's the Environmental Protection Agency. It is, yes. They're saying that because everyone I know believes that. If Everybody does believe that, and so it's, thanks for helping, you know, dispel that, that myth. But here. it still but uses stuff out of the ground. Absolutely. To make, and that is what this stops. One of the things we mine for stuff, we, we dig stuff up out of the ground. That's the key. That, and so you talked about the environmental benefit. If you think about the, what we've done is we are avoiding mining of raw materials. And 70% of the impact of a battery is, comes from that mining of raw material. So by closing that loop, we're reducing the impact of the environment. So, so this use is um, stuff that comes back through. Uh, two, two of the things that I've always thought would make a lot of sense, and I, I have a, a transistor radio and it has batteries in it occasionally, but I always thought that it would be good to have rechargeable ones or a crank handle. So if I want to listen to the new sub, 15 minutes, crank, 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 Plus play, it goes right. I mean, is that is that something, or is that not? Um, is that so not? So it's certainly a technology that's available. Consumers want it a little bit easier than that. And and I'm glad you asked the question about rechargeables, right? Because if you think about the best battery for the device and the environment, it really depends on the device you have, so the drain rate, as well as how you use that device. So alkaline batteries are really good in wall clocks and have a lower environmental impact um, on like greenhouse gases than a rechargeable does. But in a high drain device, so something like a remote car that a child may use, um, rechargeables are a better option. So it really it depends. I'd go with the pedals for the, <laughs> for the, for the kid. Um, so the, the, these, how do they perform? I mean, one thinks of recycled, um, recycled stuff, you're like, okay, well, maybe, maybe it doesn't work. How does it go? I talked about the challenge that we gave ourselves that day to do something better, and the caveat we had was we wanted to use the recycled content, but we weren't going to sacrifice performance. So these are actually our longest-lasting alkaline batteries, um, so they last longer than our Energizer Max. So consumers are getting a longer-lasting battery and made with recycled content. So if you think about the two ways that it's helping the environment, you pick a longer lasting battery, you use fewer, that's the first way you help, and then by using Eco Advanced with recycled And how long content. would these last in my, uh, my transistor radio? It depends on your radio and how often you use it. Oh, every day, <laughs> every day for a few hours. I don't know. I'll give it a go. Thank you very much, Michelle Atkinson Thanks. of Energizer.